Hi hey guys, Paul from PA Brew News. Out having a beer by the fire pit. Two things happened simultaneously as soon as I lit the fire. One, the wind started. So I was going to sit over there and I moved over here. We'll see how long that lasts. And two, we started hearing voices. Well, I know they're working on the road over there. So there might be some noise from that direction. But I guess the people that do own the cabin decided to escape from the coronavirus 2020 to their cabin abode so they're probably the ones that are gonna bring it and give it to us so hey thanks hey thanks hey thanks travel band let's travel four hours into the country and give it to everybody in the country they probably already have it because they live in a, in a populated area hey hey what can you do anyway cracking open a beer here from the separatist beer project classic cream 5% cream ale so let's do it Enjoy cold straight from the can American cream stout smooth and crushed. Well, I'm not a communist. We're not going to do that. Okay, here we go So got my 10 bale brewing glass Pour it in There you go Absolutely, there you go So out here in my little burn circle You know, I probably have to get some Poison spray because I think there's a couple little bits of Poison ivy, we can't have that. So, up to the light. Pretty clear as a bell. Little haze. Nice soft carbonation rising up from the glass there. White head. Let's get our nose on it. Cheers. Oh, by the way, they are from, they're from PA somewhere, aren't they? Bonded by all love of fermentation. 5%, blah, blah, blah. Serves as any awarding. Pittston, Pennsylvania. So PA Brew News. Here we go. Cheers. A little spicy, earthy. Nice little brightness. As to be expected. Cheers. Not smokiness. Little zip of a lemon quality, almost rep reminiscent of some kind of uh, hops that you do to throw in, like either a nice pilsner or a Kolsch. Earthy, spicy, a little bit of a lemon quality. Hint of a breadiness, crackery breadiness, breadiness. Little bit of a mineralistic aftertone mixing in with that like kind of soft earthy spiciness there's that wind change there's a storm coming today too easy drinking pretty tasty overall Finish is relatively clean. Pretty good. I've had some better cream ales than this that really give you a little bit more uh, breadiness qualities, like, you know, savoriness. Just a hint. And there was a little more cloudiness because it gave it, that's why they gave it so much more bready quality, especially the homebrew one that I had from Under the Table Brewing was really nice. I believe uh, Kevin Clements also sent me a nice cream ale. Yeah, they're definitely nice. Nice little crushable beer. Nothing too crazy. Uh, my, I don't know. It's one of those things. Cream ales. Like for instance, Joe over the Beer Patrol, he really likes the Jenny cream ale. One's, one's like it's his go-to thing. It's it's what he drinks um, whenever he can. It's affordable, consistent, easy drinking. Never has any kind of bad qualities, of, especially when you drink it at a cool temperature. You know what I mean? Uh, and I'm sure there's a lot less money than this. And that's what I don't really get at the same time. I like when people show shining examples of brewing style and tradition. But at the same time, the price difference between like a Pilsner... 
like a German, well-made German Pilsner and a Kraft Pilsner is um, usually quite a bit, you know what I mean? So it's one of those kind of deals, uh, cream ale, you know, going to pay like, you know, $5, you know, or not $5, but like, you know, $14 for a four pack of a cream ale when you can get it probably for $7.99 for <laughs> six, um, six 16 ounces of Jenny cream ale, you know, that kind of thing. So that always has to get uh, mentioned. I'm not saying I'm an advocate for macro versus micro bullshit or anything like that. I'm just saying it's just something to be said. I have a four pack of their Good Good. I think I might have already reviewed that, so I'm not going to do a beer review on it today. And I have to somewhat uh, ration my battery because I think it's already pretty low as it is. But this is definitely a good beer. I would consider it as advertised. I wouldn't say it's going to blow my doors off or anything like that. Like I said, I've had slightly better cream ales. Overall, I'm going to give it a 7.5. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Is there a date on it? Can on 8-28-19. So it is almost six months old. So I'd say uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's a cream ale. It's not really going to go bad. You know what I mean? There's not too much to go bad on it. But it's holding up pretty well. Uh, I've never had it fresh. It's probably going to be a little bit more zingy, zingy, pop, pop, pop. But a lot of people don't want zingy, zingy, pop, pop, pop out of a cream ale. They want easy drinking, sessionable, nuanced fair flavors. So, you know what I mean? So, there you go. Not a bad beer. This has been Paul Fabrin. Cheers.